always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Nice day today, especially with the rain, especially because the rain fell in spots that needed it most. We're starting to clear out. The wind is still kicking. And again, I just have to reiterate this because we have so many incidents that have happened so far in Lake Michigan this year. There is a beach hazard statement, and this is going to stay in effect until 11 o'clock. If you're headed out to the lakeshore, remember rip currents, waves definitely present. This is going to be slowly improving, and by the time we get to Tuesday, sunshine 79 degrees by the lakeshore, waves less than a foot. Notice Wednesday a chance of rain, even a thunderstorm, and check out that wave forecast three to five footers once more. So this is absolutely the time of year that you want to check before you go. Remember, we have tons of information on our website if ever you're interested, including how to text a buoy for real-time information. And if you're still picking a beach to go, if you want one that's not crowded or allows dogs or is great for small children, we have a really good beach resource guide that you can check out. And we kind of need to lean into that because we are rolling into August. It's August 1st. So our beach days, at least the really nice warm summertime beach days, are absolutely numbered. Here's a look at satellite and radar. You can see a few clouds from earlier today, but we're beginning to see a lot of good breaks. This is Holland, still a bit of a mackerel sky there. No rain in the Holland region currently. And you can see the wind is starting to settle down. Fairly similar in Grand Rapids. It's going to take a while for us to completely clear out overnight tonight, and it's going to happen from west to east. So areas like Middleville starting to see a few of those beautiful rays cutting through, but it's probably not going to be until later this evening, if not overnight tonight, that you see mostly clear skies. Temperatures right now sitting pretty close to 80 on either side. Touch warmer for us tomorrow for most locations. We should be climbing up to 84 with plenty of sunshine. Two-day forecast shows the huge flip into Wednesday. This is 92, hot and humid. So tomorrow, the humidity levels won't be bad, but Wednesday, sticky. Dew points will be in the 70s. That will help to trigger some showers and storms. So the reason for the big jump is a warm front that's going to be rolling through. And then we have to watch for two rounds of showers and storms on Wednesday. Tomorrow, again, just rolling through it so you can see how nice it is start to finish. And then if we continue on through Wednesday, here's 7 a.m., you can see showers and storms erupting. And then again, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, another wave should pop in. That's looking like for areas mostly near I-96 and south. As we look at the rest of your eight-day forecast, really nice, very summery, mid to upper 80s, warmer than average. Saturday, Sunday, humid. Once more, the chance of showers and storms, so plan for that. But Tuesday, 84 degrees, no humidity. I think that's when our last softball game is for Wood TV, so <laughs> they'll right. be happy then. No excuses, then. Yeah. Go, team. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Helen.